What a fantastic group. Uh, I'd like to welcome you out to the fifth annual Empowering Teaching Excellence Conference here at Utah State University. My name is, Ro my, uh, name is Robert Wagner, and I'm with Academic and Instructional Services. Again, it's very exciting to see this large group. Uh, we've said this every year in the five um, years, and it's applicable again this year. This is the biggest group that we've had. Uh, we are now pushing 500, 500 attendees uh, at this conference, which not only uh, says a lot about, about you individually being here, but it said, says a lot about Utah State University and how we value you teaching excellence. So again, welcome. We, we know and appreciate, we, we, we have many of you have traveled from our campuses across the state, uh, and we appreciate you taking the time and making the, eff the uh, effort to come here to uh, the Logan campus and hope that we all enjoy uh, spending time with our colleagues across uh, the estate. Uh, it's my opportunity this morning to just take a few minutes and just briefly go through some exciting events that have taken place this last year. Uh, as well as give out some awards and then introduce our, key, our uh, keynote speaker. Uh, so I will move very quickly through my portion. First of all, just wanted to quickly let you, well, I know you may be aware that, a, that academic and instructional services along with the provost office uh, and uh, student affairs and uh, the division of business and finance recently went, went through an organizational change um, I apologize for the small thought, but just wanted to briefly mention this uh, because I think this does affect teaching and, and it affects our capacity to serve our students. In essence, what has happened is many, um, off, many offices within the Division of Student Affairs have now moved to academic and instructional services. Um, offices like admissions, recruiting, the registrar's office, student retention, academic student success. The idea is, is to pull these offices together to reset the combination lock, uh, if you will, uh, thanks to the vision of President Cockett to really serve our students best, not only at the point of recruiting them, but clear through teaching them and retaining them and helping them grad graduate. So we're excited about what this reorganization will do and how it will help the institution to better serve students. A couple, a, a, a couple things about our ETE program that, that we are very, very proud of. Our journal uh, of empowering teaching excellence has taken off. We've had three published issues, uh, over 5,000 total downloads. Uh, those down, those were accessed at 752 different institutions across 115 countries. You can see the map of the different locations of where the downloads have occurred. If you're interested in publishing about teaching, this is not just an internal USU journal now. This is literally an international, worldwide journal. We're very proud of it. Uh, we appreciate Kim Hales, who will be serving as our new, fa as our new faculty editor and will be uh, ha uh, uh, having uh, more uh, publications this fall and spring. So please check out the website for our journal. Uh, the 2017 and 18 seminar and workshop series was, was, was great. You can see the list of topics that we had. Uh, we are also planning on great seminars and workshops this uh, fall. New this year, if you go to the ETE seminar page, there's a button where you can click if you'd like to propose one. We would welcome that, and so please, uh, if, if um, you have interest, we've had so far 27 different seminar presenters, and 25 of them were our very own USU faculty and staff. Our empower our um, e-learning workshop list last May again was very successful. We capped that at 30. 
uh, we had more than 30 wanting to 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 uh, come so uh, will be that will be available again next May and if you are interested please um, register um, um, early but it, it, it was just a great success again this year we would like to congratulate our ETE faculty committee all of these events are led by faculty it's faculty led it's faculty driven and we appreciate representatives from the different colleges and campuses that serve on our faculty committee we have uh, five members of the committee they serve for two years we have five members of the committee this year who are moving to committee emeritus status i thought about that word emeritus i almost put in evangelist status that's actually what i was going i, I thought i might offend someone so we went with emeritus but really they are we're hoping that they will serve as evangelists as they go back out into their colleges and their departments and then we would like to welcome the new members of the ete faculty committee and they are uh, uh, located there if you know any of these members the rest of the committee are mentioned in your program if you have ideas or comments or suggestions please reach out to those faculty members i know that they would love to hear from you uh, the foundations of USU Teaching, this was our event that was held just uh, the day before yesterday on Monday. We had 80 brand new USU faculty attend this all day foundations uh, event. It was, very it was very successful. So again, next uh, year we'll do this again. If you have colleagues who are just starting at USU, if you could encourage them uh, to, to participate, that would be great. We're really excited about our badging pro, pro program. And in your packet, you receive some information about our ETE 10 faculty development badging program. As of August, over 700 badges have been awarded to faculty across the state. 21 of them call, uh, have culminated in certificates and at this time we would like to uh, recognize members of our faculty who have earned those special certificates through the ET10 program so as I read their uh, names if they would please come up and I've invited John Louvier and Travis Thurston who will be giving them their certificates this again is for fact this is for faculty who have gone through the full badging program and have earned either the teaching scholar or the master teacher certifications and in some cases a few of these faculty have earned both so could I please have come up and if you could hold your applause until the end, we'll go through these names. Mark Larice Casanova, M Michael Ann Nelson, Patrick Singleton, Aaron Wadsworth Anderson. This was for the teaching scholar. Then for the master teacher, Jan Evers, Harrison Kleiner, and Thane Sweeten, and then those faculty members who earned both the teaching scholar and the master teacher, Jessica Habashi, Elena Svitko, Andreas Wiesman, Mitchell Culver, and Moises Diaz. We could please. <laughs> this really is quite an accomplishment. We hope that you all have checked out the ETE 10 bad, bad, uh, badging program. It's all done through the online website so again we're very excited about this group we'll be inviting them to come up right after the key the um, keynote if they could come back and we'll take photos then so once again congratulations <laughs>